we are often told or we hear people say you've got a big ego oh I've got a small ego um, oh it's all about my ego it's all about his ego um, let's blame it on the ego uh, he does that because of his ego she does that because of her ego the ego gets blamed for this, that and the other we believe, we're taught that an ego is a something if he's got a big ego then he's got something that's different to mine which is a small ego that's a myth there's no such thing as an ego it's a myth if there is ego then it's not an entity it's not a something it's not something you have but it's something you do because ego is an activity and it doesn't have to happen because ego is the ruination of intimacy the ruination of relationships the ruination of not cooperating of not being tolerant the ruination of a pleasurable life the ruination of being happy already happiness is a disposition already happiness is something that we are inherently that we are inherent it's an inherent state ego is that activity which is not necessary you feel it in the head you feel it in the stomach you feel it in the body there are lots and lots of blockages knots in the body mind that's ego we've all heard of the phrase you are screwing yourself up well that's ego but it doesn't have to be so obvious it can be very subtle ego is a sense of me against you ego is the sense of being a separate person ego is the sense that I am right and you are wrong ego is always making more and more mind always thinking chit chatting all the time ego is narcissistic dwelling on oneself ego is self-possession but once realized that ego is an activity you will realize that ego is separativeness the act of separating oneself from God from the real God from God from the God disposition from the God place liken to a clenched fist and liken to clenching your fist is ego the egoic activity human society are ad of adults forget about children of adults it's all about me 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 against you 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 always trying to work out the way to get something the best way to get something always trying to work out how to be happy always there's such a lot of money consciousness conscious of how much you're spending how much should I do how much should I pay for this how much should I pay for that where can I get the best deal
think money talks. It's not good. The way we live with one another is not good. Egoic society is the ruination of love, happiness, joy, delight, intimacy. Ego wants to control. This activity my teacher, Adidas Samraj, called it the dreaded gombu. The dreaded gombu is an activity I'll read a little bit about it. But you see what I'm revealing here, explaining here, is not a belief. It's not something to believe in. It's what there is to realize. It's ever so easy to go through life believing this and believing that and being like sheep, one following another. As a child, I did not want to be a sheep. I wanted to be a person that had realized something greater. And we people are renegades. Because we can see the foolishness of living like a clenched fist. So it's this activity, what I call the self-contraction, that is ego. And it's not necessary. But to let go of ego, or to surrender ego, or to not live as an egoic personality, requires vulnerability. Well, you become more vulnerable. It requires courage. It requires a, a heart movement to live, if you like, as God intends. Because of this egoic activity, we're never at rest. Never at rest. Busy, busy, busy. Always wanting to know more. Always wanting to have more. Always wanting to manipulate other people. Adults are so immature. A myth has been circulating for many centuries now that humanity is diseased, that all beings are suffering from what I call the dreaded gumbu, also known as sin. This self-contraction is sin, separation from already happiness, which is the God of this position. Maya, ego, suffering. Separated individuality, illusion, delusion, confusion, and indifference. You are supposed to accept this diagnosis 
realize how diseased you are and submit yourself to the local religious hospital where a father or doctor will confirm, a father or mother doctor, will confirm your disease and require you to submit for the rest of your life to various regimes for your own healing and ultimate cure. In right from childhood, we are told, oh, you're not happy. Let me do this in order to help you to be happy, to make you happy. It's never ending. You've got to wake up to the fact that we are already happy. Very few people understand what I'm saying. Tradition has it that by birth, by virtue of their very existence, human beings are all, even now diseased, sinful, separated from the great one. What a horror. Yes, what an obscenity has been laid upon people through the tradition of society. Excuse me. activity is detrimental to being a real human being. The natural state of the human being, of the bodily being, of the body mind is likened to the open hand. There's no there's nothing more to say really. We are living like this instead of like this. All of energy and love and happiness. Human society, the adults, are very, very, dare I say it, immature. We have to be re-educated. We have to stop all this nonsense that we believe in. This nonsense that depends on others to make us happy when we are already happy. Read the teachings of Adi Sanron and other enlightened people. come to tell you, as I stand in the midst, in the midst of the priests of this horror, that not even one of you is suffering from this disease, because it's imaginary. It's an illusion. I wasn't happy with my relationship with society. I wasn't happy with what I could see around me. So I stepped aside. And after 35 years of being with this teacher, Adidas Samraj, I stand on my own and can see the ridiculousness of living egoically. If you think the way you live and the way society is is good, is a good system, then you won't want to change. Got to have this self-understanding. Observe yourself under all situations, whether good or bad. See this activity of the self-contraction. See that you are not comfortable. You are never comfortable. You are never, never at peace. You are not balanced. You are not at peace. 
notice this and come to me and I'll help you to be free of this nonsense. The heart matter. Thank you for listening.